Last month on my Instagram, I did a post announcing a new sponsor, which is Seattle Coffee Gear. And what they do, they, they sell all of the really fancy, beautiful chrome espresso machines. Um, and they hit me up and they said they want to send me a free espresso machine. And I looked at their website. I should give a little background on my coffee experience, um, which is coffee, it's, it's kind of expensive. I remember like the first time I saw, I'm from Georgia, like we're, I'm from sweet tea country. I didn't drink coffee until I got on Garmin Sharp. Uh, we had training camp in Majorca that year. And you know, I got all the team buses and there's an espresso machine on the bus. And before a ride, uh, as you're getting off, just everyone takes an espresso. And I just was trying to play it cool. Like I know what I'm doing and like I fit in here. Uh, on a world tour team, so I just grabbed a shot. And at the time I was like, I don't know if I like this, but I guess I liked it because I haven't had a day since where I don't have one espresso and sometimes I have five. Um, so as I said in my book, remind me not to try cocaine. So at the time I was living in Spain, every little bar there, every little cafe has a great espresso machine. They all know how to do it, but that's kind of all they drink there is, you know, the espressos, the, the macchiatos, like kind of the small espresso based drinks. Um, and then I came back to the US and I was like, okay, now I guess I could try that Starbucks thing that everybody's been talking about. And I ordered one, and I was like, well, what's that? That's gross. Um, it just tasted burnt to me. So I realized I'm a bit of a snob when it comes to, to espresso. Uh, at least I know what's good and what's not. So I was really excited uh, when Seattle Coffee Gear hit me up to, to try and make my own. I had a lot of great comments and input from folks uh, voting on which machines to get. Ultimately, I chose the Diletta Mio. My parameters were, it needs to be uh, chrome and beautiful. I don't know why, but I just, I fell for that. Uh, it needs to be beginner friendly, which also means low maintenance, uh, because for sure I'm gonna screw that up. So you know how like a lot of the bike brands are all kind of made in the same little factories or the same region? That the same thing goes on with the espresso machine. So this is made in Milan. Uh, kind of all the fancy espresso machines are made within a few blocks of each other. Uh, and they all kind of share parts and distributors and whatnot. Um, but this is the, the store brand for Seattle Coffee Gear. So it's, it's well made. And with the store brand, you kind of get you know, always more value. Uh, and I'm always kind of a store brand kind of guy. I liked that it's, it's only 1300 bucks. Uh, so if you think about the math on if you get coffee out, say it's, say it's $4 a time, this pays for itself when you factor in the actual coffee beans you have to buy. This pays for itself in like a year or two and you don't have to leave the house. And who wants to ever leave the house? I also like they have a sustainability focus. Uh, they use less metal. The, the heating area is insulated, so it also draws less power, uh, which is always a plus. They also sent me, I know that a grinder is very important. I learned that from my DMs. So this is the, the Eureka, and you can tell it's fancy because the instructions come in Italian. Uh, Istruzioni, that might be French. That's Italian. So of course I told Seattle Coffee Gear, I'm like, you're not, you're not calling a barista here. And they said, that's fine. We're gonna, we're gonna walk you through it. We're gonna send you some advice. So I talked to the guy, uh, he gave me a few tips for my first espresso making. This is the Virgin Run. This is, they still got the plastic on it. Uh, this is not faked. You're gonna see me make my first espresso shot uh, and, and drink it and hopefully it's not bad uh, with, with their advice. So let's do it. Oh wait. All right, now I'm ready. You never know, this could, this, this could be messy. Could it be messy? We'll find out. Uh, they also did send me uh, some beans for the first time. On my Instagram, I'm gonna try different beans. So like, I thought part of what would be fun is like every month I go somewhere different. And so say I'm in Mexico, uh, I try the, there's a, there's a coffee plantation that I've ridden to. Um, you know, let's try that. Let's get, let's have their coffee. Uh, so we're gonna do like a coffee of the month on Instagram, but the first one will be, will be Tony's coffee here. Um, the first advice they gave me is you want it to be fresh beans, uh, so, so roasted within 30 days is kind of what they say. So I, I, which is bad news for the bag of, uh, of Joshua Tree coffee that I've had in here since uh, February 23rd, 2021. All right, now I gotta get all the plastic off of here. Don't choke on this creature. So there's a, there's a quick start guide. So let's do that. They said not to use distilled water, but also not to use like hard LA tap water. So I'm gonna use filtered water from the fridge. It doesn't say what the torque spec is for this. Oh, that's cool. So that's the button, it's right there. Cool. To, to dial in the grinder, you turn it on and then you turn it down until you hear the, oop, the burrs barely touch. So that would be here. And then you put it back five notches, so that's one, two, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. This is a burr grinder. 
uh, which I guess means it's cold. Get it? Oh. Hey! All right. A little bit more. All right, so that seems like it's full, right? Is that full? I'm going to go a little more. All right, is it, is that, comments, is that ground enough or should I have made it tighter? All right, now this thing. This is, this is like the ritual. So I, I did have like a very cheap espresso machine once and the coffee that came out of it was bad, but I liked the ritual of it. Uh, I liked kind of doing this thing. Um, yeah, this just feels, you know, real classy. All right, I don't know how hard to push it. Like you don't want to give it all your, all your weight, but. I'm basically just doing whatever I see when I go to coffee shops. So I have a lot of coffee experience by watching people make me coffees. Um, I should turn the machine on, that happens at some point. Okay, all right, now we're onto this machine. And now I'm looking at the notes that Seattle Coffee Gear sent me. Uh, oops, you, gotta, you wanna let it idle for 15 minutes, which is apparently faster than most of the bigger, fancier machines. Other features, uh, while we let it heat up, uh, it can brew and steam at the same time, which is mostly like a thing that you get from $2,000 coffee makers. It's a good single boiler. It has an integrated group water path, whatever that means. Uh, it has an adjustable OPV, which I think, I think once I know how, uh, you know, what I like and how to do it, that will matter. I went through that, we only have 14 minutes left until it heats up. All right, so it's been 15 minutes. She says she's ready to go. Let's do it. No. Okay, so the first one, it came out, uh, it kind of looked like, like a, a Folgers drip. What I realized was the, I was told to back it down five notches. Um, but what happened was there's notches on there, but also numbers. So it goes one, two, three, four, five, but in between each of those is a notch. So I backed it off five points, which is actually 10 notches. So it was definitely not ground tight enough for espresso. So we're gonna try that again. And I didn't drink the first one. Okay. Okay, that looks more like espresso to me. All right, we're gonna try that. Okay. That in. Ah, uh, ah, uh, hey, that looks like espresso, doesn't it? And he said to let it go 30 seconds or until desired, uh, whatever. All right, I'm gonna try it, I'm gonna try it. It's got that color. I don't know, this might be all right, this might be all right. Yeah, it's good. I like it. I like it to be like a little bit tighter and, and kind of milkier, if that's a term. I don't know the espresso terms. We're it's it's definitely better than the first shot. So we're gonna go on Instagram and you're gonna follow my progress as I keep making this. Maybe in a couple months another video where I'm making like fancy latte art. Uh, but this this is this is an espresso. Um, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna say a, a, a C plus for my first my first effort. I'm gonna drink it. All right, um, thank you, uh, Seattle Coffee Gear, for uh, hopefully don't get mad at me for this video. <laughs> um, and thanks for sending this espresso machine. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll try and keep it going. You want some creature? Absolutely not. Yeah.